across town and Matt McCarthy now who's with Pro Rugby CEO Doug Schoenger. Matt? Uh, yeah guys, I'm with Doug Schoeninger, the man who I thought was Sasquatch earlier in the year because he didn't exist, but he does he does indeed exist and he this this final exists here in Obets. Uh, Doug, you pulled it off. What are you most proud of? I guess a lot of things. Uh, singularly, probably, if you ask me, what the most proud of, of anything is the players and how the players really stepped up this year, kind of came into an uh, unknown environment, gave it their all, and um, has had a really great time, has grown the game, and is uh, looking forward to next year. What surprised you the most this season? A lot of things surprised me, but probably the thing that sticks out the most is something that we concentrated the least on, which was kind of worldwide acceptance. I think uh, unilaterally, uh, the world has, sees us now as a almost equal rugby nation, which is great. You know, it's great for our national team. It's great for us. It's great for the games of sevens. It's great for everything. And I think we've crossed that hump in that legitimacy. And I think that era of the sleeping... Just a giant. Sleeping giant. Sleeping giant has been stirring. Future. Future franchises. Um, we're hoping, you know, it's not completely up to us, obviously. We're hoping that our northern bordering country join us next year. I'm optimistic that will happen. Um, hoping for a couple more eastern coast, uh, or at least east of Denver teams join us next year. A couple of rivalries in the, in the works? Well, rivalries are created over time, clearly. Um, we don't want to force that, but yeah, for sure, we like teams matched up uh, that are relatively close by, so you create that natural rivalry. And you have to be happy with Obets, which I, I liken to the Green Bay of the NFL. It's been, it's been great, uh, small town, but everybody's embraced it that you've got a crowded house here today. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of people kind of giggled when we announced that this is what it was, but it's turned out exactly the way we planned, which is to turn a, you know, a non-rugby field into a rugby field, a non-rugby environment into a rugby environment, and hopefully it will be the model for a lot of uh, other venues like this in the near future. Thank you, Doug. You made a field of dreams here in Obets, and we hope that you continue this. Back to you guys. Thank you, Matt, and thank you, Doug, as well. Good stuff.